All right, Keith. What's going on today, man? We're here at camp, getting some work in, beating up on your brother. A little bit, trying, uh, just showing some technique, trying to have a little fun with it, showing some fun clinic moves. I know clinics can be boring. I, you know, I've been to clinics for my whole life, and when I was either teaching them or sitting in the in the crowd watching, and they can get boring. So we're just, we just try to make it fun, show some cool stuff, and uh, a lot of live too, which is good. How's it feel to be uh, back in Cleveland? You're uh, from from here. You're St. Ed's guy. Uh, you're over in Chicago now, at Northwestern. But is it fun to come home and do some stuff? Oh no, it's it's a lot of fun just to see my old friends from high school. Uh, you know, we all spread out after high school, going to different schools. Ohio State, Northwestern, obviously, Ohio University, whatever. Everybody's you know home. I get to hang out with my friends for a little bit. I'm only home for a week. I'm um, going back for summer school, so I'll be back for eight weeks, and then. Uh, I'm going to come back for the last month of summer. But it's relaxing, and I, I love being with my family and my brothers and stuff, so I finally get to see them. Okay, there's three of you. You're the oldest. I don't want to know who the best is, but if there were a round-robin tournament, who wins? I win. <laughs> it's, the, it's the big brother syndrome. It's uh, no matter how big they get, no matter how strong they get, no matter how small I am, can't beat the, can't beat the older brother. I saw, yeah, you guys rolled today, you were whooping up on it. They just, it's like something in their brain, they just give up. It's not that they can't beat me, maybe, but they just, something tells them they're not supposed to. It's the way it's supposed to be. All older brothers should be dominant, huh? Is that what yeah, you said? I think so. All right, uh, kind of a disappointing finish to the season for you. Uh, one and two at the NCAA tournament. Uh, what have you done to, you know, climb onto that podium next year and be an All-American? Well, since Nationals, I, I tried to relax a little bit. Um, I had a lot of health problems last year, just trying to get healthy, um, starting to feel good right now. Um, other than that, i just been getting in the weight room a lot, I love the lift, um, just want to get stronger. Uh, and then once I get back up to school uh, next week, uh, I'm going to really, I'm really going to start dedicating myself to the cause, you know. I want to be on the top of the podium and I really don't want to settle for anything less. You know, you don't shoot for to become an All-American, you shoot to be a national champ. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, train it overtime this summer. I want to be lifting a lot. I want to get in with a lot of, a lot of different guys, get a lot of different looks. Okay. Do you think that, you know, all the places you could have gone, you think Northwestern's been the right fit for you so far? I think so. Yeah. Um, I've always been really big into academics since I was in high school. I took my grades really seriously. I was just, I'm just crazy about my schoolwork. I uh, dedicate a lot of time to it. Um, so you know, Northwestern's an awesome school, uh, and. That just in itself is a great fit, and then you think you know it's in the Big Ten, which is the best wrestling conference in the country, the best competition in the country, and uh, other than that, I mean, I've met a lot of a lot of great people at Northwestern. I've made a lot of awesome friends that you know it's gonna, friendships that are going to last the rest of my life, and I'm definitely happy with my decision. Okay, what's your major? I'm double majoring. I mean, uh, are you crazy? <laughs> a lot of people probably think so. Yeah, I've been told that. Um, I just declared my double major like this last year. Um, so I'm, I'm an industrial engineer and uh, I declared economics as well. So I'm gonna, I want both of them. So hopefully I get both of them at the end of my four years. That's the goal. So I'm doing summer school. I, I want to catch up on some credits. I need a few extra for, you know, engineers need a few extra credits other than everybody else. And then when you add another major on top of it, I got a lot of extra credits I'm going to have to make up. So just trying to catch up right now. What's the best wrestling high school in the country? St. Edward High School. The Eagles. Why was that such a <laughs> bird call? Why is it such an easy, uh, an easy answer? Well, I'm biased. You know, I'm an Eagle. But I mean, there's a lot of great programs out there. St. Paris Graham, Blair Academy. You know, but St. Ed's, man, that's where it's at. Uh, just the coaches, the people around there. I mean, it makes it a special place. I, a lot of guys at college, they give me a lot of crap because I'm always talking about St. Ed's. I'm always wearing my St. Ed's gear around. And like, put take this stuff away. You know, you're you're in Northwestern now, but it's something I can't forget. You know, it's just a special place. Is there a pipeline between Lakewood and Evanston? Uh, you could say that. We have, uh, you know, dating all the way back to Del Guide. He was a, a St. Ed's Eagle, and he went to Northwestern. Um, or not, no, I'm sorry, I meant no, Sam Nider. I was say, what you, no, no, you no. guys, crazy, he was a, no, no. Sam, he's a Mayfield uh, Wildcat. He was a Mayfield Wildcat. I meant, uh, I meant to say Sam Nider, dating back to Sam Nider. He's all-American for He's an all-American in Northwestern. And, uh, yeah, Del Guide, Mayfield, we had Ryan Lang, we got... I'm saying Eagles, though, man, I'm saying just pure you, Eagles. You're saying just St. Ed's? All right, yeah. we, got, we got Lang, we got Kuhar, we got Bertine, 
we got me, we got Roddy, uh, we had uh, Ryan Bertine as a coach, and hopefully uh, the pipeline continues. But there's definitely a, a pipeline in Northeast Ohio, uh, you know, Cleveland area, that's for sure. Okay, what's the best wrestling area in the country? Chicagoland, Central Valley, California, uh, Lehigh Valley, or Northeast Ohio? Northeast Ohio. What are you throwing the Cali ones for Welch? Yeah, yeah, okay. I had to. No, Northeast Ohio. Northeast Ohio. All right, you got anything else for me? I never even knew you were so entertaining and quick-witted. I'm usually not. I don't know. I don't know what got into me. Uh, no, I'm, I'm quick-witted. Usually on camera, I'm a little more laid back and reserved, but today I'm feeling... You're feeling it, huh? A little bubbly today. All right. So, but thank you, Flo. Yeah. Hey, go on and go on and work that little brother. I gotta go. His head's getting a little too big. He's walking around the house flexing at me, and you're gonna I go deflate him a little alpha bit. Alpha male, the pack leader. That's what I told him. <laughs> no. But thanks. All right, Keith. Thanks for yeah. the time. Yeah. No problem.